Hello Primer 4, how are you today? I'm Miss Sarah, I'm teaching science and today we're gonna talk about adaptation. As you can see here, Primer 4, we have two pictures of a girl and a boy. They're wearing light clothes and heavy clothes according to the weather that they live in. The girl wearing light clothes according to the summer and the boy wearing heavy clothes according to the winter. That means they adapt the weather they live in. They adapt the weather they live in. So what is the meaning of adaptation? adaptation adaptation are the characteristics that help living things to survive and reproduce in the ecosystem in which they live in what is the meaning of that let's know adaptation are the characteristics characteristics mean the features that they have that help living things like us as a human like animals like plants to survive survive means to live and reproduce reproduce mean to have babies in the ecosystem in which they live ecosystem is the place that living things and non-living things live in together and it provides the living things food water and shelter so adaptation are the characteristics or the features that help living things to survive or to live and reproduce to have babies in the ecosystem in which they live in our first example primary four is a start agama lizard this is called start agama lizard start agama lizard lives in desert and you know that the weather in the desert is very hot right it is very hot so to adapt living in this weather, start again a lizard. Search for shaded area. Shaded area like this part. Can you see this part? This is a shaded area. To keep its body cool from the hot weather or the hot climate. So start again a lizard. Lives in desert. Search for shaded area to keep its body to keep its body cool from the hot climate our second example is a palm leaves or the palm tree leaves as you can see this is the leaves of the palm tree the leaves of the palm tree primary four covered with something called waxy layer waxy layer like the wax okay to protect the leaves to protect the leaves from the extreme hot climate our third example is the human beings like us we are human beings primary four we use umbrella right to shade to have shade from the hot weather or from the hot climate that we live in and we put on like clothes we put on like clothes so we have three examples primary four we have start agama lizard we have palm leaves and we have the human beings for adaptation adaptation our last example primary four is the penguin this is called penguin as you know penguin lives in very cold place called antarctica and this is the habitat or the home of the penguin habitat means home so the habitat of the penguin is antarctica and the climate of the antarctica is very cold this is called polar climate so antarctica has polar climate so how the penguin adapt or survive or live in this very cold place antarctica number one penguin has insulating fat layer it has fat layer that insulate the cold weather or the cold climate from the body of the penguin also it has thick or dense feather thick or dense feather to protect the body of the penguin and to trap the warm air against the skin to keep its body warm so when i say why penguin has thick feather and insulating fat layer you will tell me that to trap warm air against the skin to keep its body warm also primary four its feet has no feather or fat if you look carefully here or here you can see that the feet of the penguin has no feather and fat so how the penguin walk on the ice how the penguin walk in this cold ice primary four 
If you look here, this is the circulation of the penguin body primary four, and this is the feet of the penguin, and this is the blood vessels of the feet of the penguin. If you look carefully here, you can see that we have two blood vessels. One came from the heart to the feet, and one came from the feet to the heart. The ones that came from the heart downward to the feet, this contain warm blood. And the blood that came from the feet to the heart upward, this contain cold blood. Both blood vessels weave around each other, weave around each other as you can see here and here. Why? To transfer the heat from the blood came downward from the heart to the feet to the blood that's cold and came from upward from the feet to the heart. So, both blood vessels weave around each other, so the heat transfer to the feet and the penguin can walk on ice without feeling the cold weather or the coldness of the ice. This was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Goodbye.